Hi friends. Obviously this isn't what we had in mind originally when the team and I sat down to figure out how to best send you off to the next phase of your vocations. You are more than 100 graduating Soren Fellows, undergraduate seniors, PhD students, law students, other graduate students. This isn't what we had in mind, but the virtual medium shouldn't diminish in any way our expression of how proud of you we are, how deep our affection for you uh, is, and how sad we are to see you go, but comforted by the hope that you'll return to us in the years to come, knowing that you have a home here, a permanent home, at the DeNicholas Center for Ethics and Culture at the Blessed Mothers University. We treasure our memories with you of the past four years, and we hope that you have fond memories of, as well, fond memories of your life here with us on campus, going to mass together, going to lectures and colloquia, going to tailgates together, meeting various luminaries from around the world, Supreme Court justices, Nobel Prize winners, Pulitzer Prize winners. Some of you got to join us in the, in the Holy Land on pilgrimage. Some of you got to join us in Rome for the Synod on Youth. Some of you even got to meet uh, the Holy Father, Pope Francis himself. Some of you got to experience internships around the world. We're so proud of you, and we're so delighted that you were able to participate in the Soren Fellows Program with us here at the DeNicola Center, where our principal aspiration has been to help you to cultivate your gifts and talents, to deepen your faith life, to enhance your intellectual experience, but most of all, to cultivate and develop enduring friendships. Friendship is at the core of everything we do here at the DeNicola Center, and it's the lifeblood of the Soren Fellows Program. And being that friendship is at the core of what we've done and uh, hopefully have accomplished over the past four years, we'd like to leave you with the words of C.S. Lewis from his beautiful piece, The Four Loves. In friendship, we think we have chosen our peers. In reality, a few years difference in the dates of our births, a few more miles between certain houses, the choice of one university instead of another, the accident of a topic being raised or not raised at a first meeting, any of these chances might have kept us apart. But for a Christian, there are, strictly speaking, no chances. A secret master of ceremonies has been at work. Christ, who said to the disciples, You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you, can truly say to every group of Christian friends, You have not chosen one another, but I have chosen you for one another. The friendship is not a reward for our discriminating in good taste and finding one another. It's the instrument by which God reveals to each of us the beauties of others. So congratulations, graduating Soren Fellows, and on behalf of me, Pete, and the full DeNicola Center team, may God bless you, and may his mother Mary intercede for you and your families today and always.